They're not just superheroes on the big screen, they play them in real life too. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our list for the top 10 awesome things superhero actors did in real life. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the best times in which superhero actors use their platform to do good in the real world. So please join me and become a regular diner and help children have the childhood they deserve. Number 10, Hugh Jackman founded Laughing Man Worldwide. As Dakali and I planted copy trees together, I began to see the potential for one man's hard work to transform an entire community. Wolverine may be a hardened anti-hero, but the man behind the claws isn't. While traveling through Ethiopia, Jackman met a coffee farmer named Dukale. After spending some time working on the farm with Dukale and seeing the results of his hard work, Jackman was inspired to found Laughing Man Worldwide, which promotes economic change through entrepreneurship. Laughing Man operates on the philosophy that when people are provided the education and opportunities needed to better themselves and their community, that change can be infectious. As part of the foundation, Jackman opened Laughing Man Cafe in New York, which works directly with the coffee farmers, rather than through distributors and donates all profits to the foundation. I made Dukali a promise to do my part to help. Laughing Man Worldwide is the fulfillment of that promise. Number nine, Ryan Reynolds joined the Michael J. Fox Foundation to fight Parkinson's. Fellow actor Ryan Reynolds joined the fight and the foundation. In 2009, before donning the tights in a leading role, the then future Green Lantern and Deadpool actor joined the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Dedicated to bettering the lives of those afflicted with Parkinson's disease, the foundation works to discover new therapies, develop drugs, and ultimately cure the disease. It comes from a pretty prideful generation, and, and um, you know he doesn't really talk about it too much. Reynolds' journey with the foundation started when he ran the New York City Marathon for his father, who suffered from Parkinson's, raising over $100,000 for the foundation. As a board member, Reynolds has used his fame to benefit the foundation by supporting fundraising events and auctioning off premiere tickets to his movies. So I think if there's any upside to it, it's that it has rallied an awful lot of people. Number eight, Mark Ruffalo raised money for water defense. They're telling us that what's poison isn't poisonous, that what's radioactive isn't threatening. Don't make him angry. You won't like him when he's angry. But we're not talking about the Hulk. We're talking about the guy who plays him. What makes Mark Ruffalo really angry? Irresponsible oil drilling. Mark Ruffalo has made a name for himself, not just as an Avenger, but as an activist too. Ruffalo founded the nonprofit Water Defense, an organization that protects drinking water from contamination, and aims to hold drilling companies accountable for water pollution. Ruffalo raised over $182,000 for the organization in a single fundraising effort, and in 2011, gathered a massive protest against the drilling of the Delaware River, which, if contaminated, would affect the drinking water of millions. We, we are the change that we are waiting for. Number seven, Scarlett Johansson was an Oxfam ambassador for eight years. More than 12 million people are at risk as parts of East Africa experience the worst drought in 60 years. Black Widow may have red in her ledger, but Scarlett Johansson is well into the black in terms of good karma. She has worked with numerous charities and spoke at the 2017 Women's March in Washington. But her crowning achievement is the eight years she spent as an ambassador for Oxfam company dedicated to fighting global poverty. Sadly, she broke ties with the organization in 2014 due to a conflict over her endorsement of SodaStream. Regardless of the split, there's no denying the impact she made during her time with the human rights organization, which saw her traveling across East Africa to bring attention to countries suffering from droughts and verging on famine. Such a different experience than coming from Dadaab. As you can see, people are able to, uh, to harvest their own crops and there's a lot of hope here. Number six, George Clooney co-founded Not On Our Watch. This is the most dangerous place, the place with the best chance of something very bad happening. Far too often we arrive too late to the disaster, but what if we saw humanitarian problems arising and work to avert them? Originally co-founded by one-time caped crusader and eternal heartthrob in 2008 with the purpose of preventing war and genocide in Darfur, this human rights organization is committed to drawing awareness to neglected international crises and applying pressure to government officials to take action. Instead of focusing on the aftermath of an atrocity, this foundation aims to root out the source of conflicts and prevent them. We need humanitarian aid to be allowed into the Sudan before it becomes the worst humanitarian crisis in the world. Alongside co-founders such as Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, and fellow superhero actor Don Cheadle, Clooney's in good company. 
Number five, Chris Hemsworth is a spokesman for the Australian Childhood Foundation. Child abuse is a really tough topic, but if we want to do something about it, it's one we have to face. He might play the God of Thunder, but his true superpower is the power of love. Hemsworth uses his platform as an Avenger to do some real good in protecting the world's most vulnerable victims, children. A spokesman for the Australian Childhood Foundation, Hemsworth helps to raise awareness and funds for the organization. Using love as their main tool, they work to return lost childhoods to children and help those who have experienced emotional and physical trauma recover, develop safe and trusting relationships, and become well-adjusted adults. A man devoted to the well-being of children? What more could you ask for in your celebrity crush? The bottom line is the loss that abused children experience is too tough for them to handle alone, and they need our help. Number four, Christian Bale visited Aurora shooting victims in the hospital. This surprise visit has sent a huge jolt of energy through this city in pain. Who could forget the tragic mass shooting that occurred at a screening of The Dark Knight Rises in Aurora, Colorado, claiming the lives of a dozen theater goers and injuring dozens more? Following the tragedy, Bale, our second Batman to make the list, visited the memorial outside of the theater set up by the friends and family of the shooting victims. Bale has said that he felt a personal connection to the tragedy and to the people, and made the trip completely of his own accord, without a cloud of press and paparazzi. Bale also went to the hospital and personally met the survivors, the doctors, and the first responders. Number three, Chris Evans and Chris Pratt's Super Bowl bet. We talk a lot of smack, and uh, we made a lot of bets, and then at one point I was like, you know, we might be able to harness this energy and actually do something kind of cool and raise some money. In 2015, the Chris's, Evans and Pratt, that is, took a friendly rivalry to another level with a bet based on the outcome of Super Bowl 49. Loser visits a charity of the others choosing in costume. With Evans rooting for the Patriots and Pratt rooting for the Seahawks, the latter lost the bet and scheduled a visit to a Boston Children's Hospital dressed up as his Marvel superhero counterpart, Star-Lord. Evans was a gracious winner, however, and he not only joined Pratt for the Boston visit, but arranged for him and his fellow hero to visit the Seattle Children's Hospital, where it was his turn to don his costume. Number two, Robert Downey Jr. presented an Iron Man prosthetic arm to a young child. Ready? Yep. Great. Each one looks the same. Seven-year-old Alex Pring didn't just get a 3D printed bionic arm inspired by his favorite superhero, he got it from Iron Man himself. To deliver this one-of-a-kind gift, Robert Downey Jr. teamed up with Albert Monero, the founder of Limitless, a company that makes bionic arms for children for free. You know who that is? Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Robert. Great! RDJ then got to present the Iron Man-themed appendage to Alex, who was born without his full right arm. He stayed in character as Tony Stark while meeting the young man, and even brought his own Iron Man arm with him so the two could try them out together. God, dude, it's even cooler than I thought. <clears throat> I'm having a technical glitch. Number one, Christopher Reeve launched the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation. In 1995, when Christopher Reeve was injured, he and his wife Dana decided to make it their mission to put a face on spinal cord injury. It's a bird, it's a plane, nope. Soaring to the top of our list, it's Superman actor Christopher Reeve. After being thrown from a horse in a fateful riding accident, Reeve was paralyzed from the neck down. He took his own personal tragedy and turned it into something that would help others by founding one of the most successful spinal injury research foundations ever. Following the motto, Today's Care, Tomorrow's Cure, they provide information, conduct research, and award grants to help better the lives of those living with spinal cord injuries, and ultimately aim to someday cure paralysis. It's no longer a matter of if cures for spinal cord injury will be found, but when. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.